Hi, my name is Chloe and I'm a second year student of Bachelor of Pharmacy studying at the University of Queensland. What made you choose to study in Australia? Well, I thought Australia has a great opportunity in health with medicals and science as well. And a pharmacy really stood out to me because it connects the patient care with like drug research and innovation as well. So that's the biggest reason why I choose Australia. Why did you decide to study pharmacy? Well, since high school, I was really interested in health and science, especially in chemistry. And pharmacy really stood out to me because it connects to patients and science with medical care. How is the UQ pharmacy program so far? Would you recommend it? Um, I think it's been challenging but rewarding for sure. Um, the program is well structured with a mix of theory and practical experience as well. And I've learned so much, so I would definitely not recommend, but only if you have interest in like chemistry and like um, health industry and healthcare. Can you rate the program from one to 10 and why? I'll give it an eight. It's only because um, it can be really hectic with the exams and with the assignments. But other than that, I think it's pretty much good and all the resources that you can get from the library or from the teachers as well. What made you transfer from Griffith University to UQ? Um, I thought UQ offered more research-focused environment compared to Griffith. Yeah, I feel more supported by the resources and staff here in UQ. Are you happier at UQ now, right? I am, yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> Comparison over academic workload between Griffith and UQ, which one has more workload? Um, I would say UQ can be a little bit more intense than Griffith. Because as I said before, UQ focuses more on like theory compared to Griffith. Can you tell us the strength of UQ's pharmacy program? Well, I think one of the biggest strengths of UQ pharmacy has to be the research program. The facilities are excellent as well and with the teaching staff and the resources you can get is yeah great. Have you received any um, international student scholarship at UQ? I yes, I did and I am really happy about it and I yeah, I'm glad I did. <laughs> So you got about like 20%? 20 percent? 20 percent, yeah. yeah. So are you living in UQ student accommodation and how is it? Yes, I am living in student accommodation in UQ. And I've, to be honest, I've only heard about the good things about the student accommodation. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Can I ask how much you pay per week for the accommodation? I pay roughly around $400 per week, but I'm paying extra for my car park as well. So that's going to be extra $200 in fortnights. Is it like a um, shared bedroom? Or? No, you have your own apartment, mm -hmm. you have your own bathroom. Yeah, but you got to share the communal areas like kitchen. Can you tell me what you do in your free time in Brisbane? <laughs> well, in Brisbane, because I'm really not a city girl, mm -hmm. I often go down to Gold Coast. I do surfing. I'm in my kitchen with my friends in Gold Coast. Mm. Yeah, I do a lot of outdoor activities. I can tell by your skin. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> Any challenges as an international student and how do you overcome that? Well, I guess every international student will agree, but definitely going to be cultural differences and adjusting to a new environment was the toughest part. But um, by reaching out and just really making friends helped me a lot to adjust to a new environment. Any tips for Korean students interested in studying pharmacy in Australia? Um, well, I should say don't be afraid of asking questions and reaching out for help. Just don't be shy because everyone here is to learn basically. They don't, if you don't know, they will not know as well. Do you have career plans after graduation, like internship, registration or employment? Well, I'm pursuing to become a drug researcher. Mm -hmm. I hope it's going to be somewhere in CSL maybe. I hope so. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, maybe in clinical or research pharmacy. That's my plan for now on. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah, I think in Victoria because I have CSL headquarters, but also in Europe because I heard Europe has a lot of big pharmaceutical companies and have much more opportunities with the drug research. I will do a heads up to a thumbs up. I would say they were so friendly and whenever I texted them, they were always available and always willing to help you. And there's so many paperwork for me to have to fill it out to do the transfer. And I think I wouldn't be able to do it by myself, really, if it was not the agency. Thank you so much That's for okay. choosing us. That's and okay. Thank you for the interview. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>